Nightwing number 24, Tim Seeley writing Miguel Mendoncha on art. This is uh, the third part of the blockbuster arc. Uh, uh-huh. And I feel like we're going to be quick on this one as well, because this issue ended up being one long action scene for the most part. There was, there was, <laughs> yeah. there was one scene with, uh, like, uh, what's her face? The face or uh, Sean. Sean. <laughs> Took me a second. Uh, you know, when Pigeon shows up and she's talking to, uh, uh, is Mouse her name? Is that the right uh, name? Mouse. Mouse, yeah, because it's uh, Giz, Giz and Mouse. Yeah, G- G- Giz is kind of the uh, like you know Nightwing's guy in the computer uh, for this issue. Here's the thing. Yeah, I'm not much of a computer guy as you are, right? Mm-hmm. When he says that something is two thousand gigs, shouldn't oh, he yeah. just say two terabytes? Yeah, that annoyed the shit out of me. I, yeah. I, I'm glad you brought that up. No, no one would say two thousand gigabytes. That is so no. weird. That is two terabytes. What is wrong with no. you? That's, yeah, I saw that, and I, I had to look it up just to make sure, you know, but yeah, who it just, says... It, it just read so wrong, because I'm like, wait, 2,000 yeah. gigabytes, why would you say that? Yeah. Because you never hear anyone talk about thousands of gigabytes, because you don't need to. No. There's, there's another you increment. You just talk about a terabyte. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But oh, yeah, so I was like, so yo, weird. you're the computer guy, Giz is your name. Like, <laughs> so I feel he's a bit of a, of a pretender. Here, maybe you know. I, I feel like maybe Silly just I don't know maybe, maybe he doesn't have a judgment yeah maybe he doesn't know computer talk and uh, he's just yeah. not thought about it or maybe he's, he's trying to make a point with it I'm not really sure uh, I mean, well, 2,000 gigabytes seems like a lot more than 2 terabytes to the average person I guess so, I don't know yeah but anyways it's nothing to, to focus on that much I was just like I know yeah it's a nitpick but it was just it, was, it stood yeah. out to me when he said it it was weird me too um but yeah, so Pigeon shows up and it's just the idea that Pigeon's out in parole and she's like coming to you know talk to Sean and we don't really see any more of it. It's just kind of is that that's kind of it. Uh, but the rest of the issue is one giant. There's a lot of double page spreads. There's a lot of Nightwing fighting yep. all these villains that are here because remember if you remember they're at this kind of uh, show and tell. This arms dealer who's got these weapons. Yep. Uh, Tiger Shark, of course, is the one doing this. Uh, Blockbuster's brought in Nightwing so they can use their fancy weapons to kill Nightwing to show all these villains. Hey, look, our they work. They work for killing superheroes, even though Nightwing's not got any powers. So your point's kind of moot in this sense. But whatever, they don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. so we get a lot, obviously Skyhook was there, uh, Vertigo's there. Uh, what I thought was fun actually with this issue is they used this to like, actually have a lot of cool little cameos from other books because Kid yeah. Amazo's there. From Super Sons, which I thought was really cool. Uh, China White and the Triad. Ch- China yeah. White, uh, the Underground Men from uh, Green Arrow, along with Clock yeah. King, who popped up in Green Arrow not a lot long ago. Yeah. Uh, so no, there was a lot of fun little things like that where it was like, yeah, it's all. I mean, there's no A-listers; they're all like C-listers. But right. still, it was a nice little fun idea that all these different characters that have been popping up yeah. in other books all kind of showed up for this. So that was that was kind of yeah. cool. And I love how the '90s themselves showed up with Magog. <laughs> just because <Yeah. laughs> like, and, and Dick even gets some little shots in on there like his cybernetic arm and his cybernetic eye and this lance that he carries like I thought that was pretty funny yeah art's, art's pretty good uh, I like specifically as a page towards the end where Dick's like sort of like he's down for the count for a second then he gets back up there's just this great little sequence of his eyes opening and Getting yeah. back up, uh, so that was quite good. Blockbuster is, is starting to annoy me a little bit because this back and forth of, hey, I'm a good guy. Actually, no, I'm not. But hey, yes, I am. I fight for you know. I'm doing this for Bloodhaven because uh, I'm one of the people that grew up here. And it's just like, well, it would mean more if he doesn't flip every single issue. Well, this is issue three we've had of him, and it's his second turn. I don't. Well, see, I don't count this one as, as a turn, though. I think I, like, I disagree. I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying that I'm I'm super down with his character necessarily, but that this one didn't feel like a turn to me. To me, he's still a villain. He's kind of like the villain who's like, oh, I'm going to save it, but only me is going to save it, so I'm going to kill you to do it. He's still a villain here. I, I just think... I, I know that, but I'm saying his whole tone of, of dealing with Nightwing. Like, if, if he's meant to be Nightwing's new, you know, adversary of Bloodhaven... Mm. You know, I just, it feels his tone's off. Because I feel like he's still too buddy-buddy with Nightwing. I guess you know? that's just like the, here, uh, I guess that's just the attitude they're going with for him. Well, that's his sort of characterization yeah. where he's he's always going to, like, speak this way. But he leaves Nightwing for dead here, because the big cliffhanger, of course, is that uh, yeah. he's setting off a bomb, and we end with this explosion, and Nightwing's saying to Giz, tell Sean I 
and then you know boom that's boom. the big cliffhanger yeah. uh, the biggest action movie cliffhanger of all time yeah it, it looks like a proper blast that that last panel because this little island with a, a derelict ship on it and the, from uh, yeah. if I remember last issue correctly uh, yeah, yeah I thought it was a fun issue honestly there's not a lot to talk about it is almost entirely one big action sequence of Nightwing just kind of working his way through all these various villains which is some fun cameos some fun art uh, I agree but that, that, that's kind of it. It's kind of this, this whole gauntlet. and uh, I, I guess what this, this does for the arc as a whole is it, it kind of it kind of, kind of shows you just kind of how uh, manipulative that, that Blockbuster is willing to be. Because if, yeah. he if he's playing Tiger Shark as well, again, for his, his own means, then certainly he's willing to screw over anyone just to do what he wants. Yeah. So uh, I'll we'll see how that progresses. But no, pretty simple issue. I read this super quick because it was just... Yeah, like I say, a lot of dull pitch spreads, just lots of kicking and punching and all sorts. Uh, yeah. Nightwing sort of his inner monologue, just kind of try to work out how to best fight through the situation. Pretty, pretty typical stuff, but but solid. Yeah.